Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. In this video, we are going to do a past life reading on rapper T.I. and his daughter Deja. Throughout the video, I, I call her Deja Nay, but uh, I meant to say Deja, I believe it's Deja. Um, according to Hot Topics, T.I. has admitted to uh, going to the doctor with his 18 year old daughter to ensure that she has not been with anyone in an intimate way. And there's a lot of people who are disgusted by T.I.'s behavior as a father. And, um, and they are saying that, you know, her rights or his daughter's rights are being violated. And I wanted to look into their past life to see what their relationship was like because there are a lot of emotional issues going on that I think have been carried over into this life. I really hope you enjoy this past life reading. Um, don't forget to please comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. In this past life reading, reading I am going to look at T.I.'s relationship with his daughter Dejanae Harris. So T.I. Harris, the rapper, and his daughter Dejanae. I have already pulled the cards and I just want to take a look at their past relationship which is to my left and their current relationship is to my right. And this is the connecting card because personally I don't think that any father is really that I don't think I don't know for somebody to be that adamant about his daughter's um, you know well-being intimate well-being to me something else has to be going on so that's what I'm gonna take a look at with my cards I like to do a lot of past life readings and I usually don't record them because I keep them to myself but I think a lot of people are talking about it but usually when there's a big emotional pull I think that something else is going on so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the cards and we're gonna see what is going with T rapper T.I. and his daughter Dejanae I think it's Dejanae okay so the first card I have represents T.I. And in the pre this is in the previous lifetime it says plant uh, seeds that bear the fruit of your soul. This card is telling me that in a previous lifetime T.I. was a woman and he lived in a village. I don't know things just this is just a vision that comes to me. So he's he was a woman who lives in a village and um, this card represents his daughter and it says some people are simply not meant to be in your life so what I'm pulling from these two cards and this is just the vision that I saw when I pulled these two cards is that T.I. was a woman in a previous lifetime and he well, at the time it was he was a girl. He lost his life, or she lost her life because her hymen wasn't intact. And his daughter Dejanae was actually the the male, the guy that she was gonna marry, who was responsible for her losing her life. Um, it says so, that's just the energy of like when I when I pulled the deck and I meditated for a few moments. It was almost like a scene was just playing out before me. So in the previous lifetime, T.I. was actually, T.I. and his daughter were actually dating. T.I. was the girl and his daughter was the guy. T.I. Um, lost his life or her life because her hymen wasn't intact. And she was, or his daughter Dejanae at the time, who was the male suitor, was responsible for her death so the next card I have it says how do you feel about it your feelings matter so this lets me know that this was a, a, a love relationship and that T.I. I'm gonna say in a previous lifetime was Tanisha her feelings didn't matter 
like when she tried to explain to the um, daughter, I'm going to call her David at the time, Tanisha and David, who was the daughter, that, you know, look, I'm telling you the truth. Um, I am, I've never been with anyone else. That you are the person that I love and that I'm faithful to. But David, who was Dajan in this in the past lifetime, did not believe Tanisha. The next card I have is from Sinai, which is a very emotional card, and it says to do it now. Now, what I'm picking up from the cards is that do it now was they is that David demanded that Tanisha lose her life because her her hymen was an attack. Uh, David felt that um, this person was not really telling the truth and. Um, he did not want to be embarrassed with his family and telling people, you know, like, because they would, you know, during his time, uh, a woman's virginity was it was very important to the family on both sides of the family. So it was important for a woman to re, to be, remain pure for the integrity of the family name, and it was important for the male who was going to marry her. So hasty decisions was made in the past. T.I. in a previous lifetime, who was Tanisha, I'm, just, I'm naming him Tanisha just for our purposes. Um, the daughter Dejanae, I believe her name is Dejanae, I'm calling her David. She was the person who had her, you know, killed because her hymen was not intact. So it was just a, you know, and, you know, there was no questioning, there was no trust, there was no discussion, um, no faith in this person the person just felt betrayed now this is the connecting card so um this is the card that connects the past the past and the present so i'm going to go ahead and pull this card oh my god so the card that i pulled that is the connecting card for what happened to ti and his daughter from the past to the present is handled with care now what this means to me right off the bat is that the reason he is taking his daughter to the doctor and um, checking is because in a previous lifetime you know he was a woman who lost his life because he because his um, fiance or didn't believe her fiance didn't believe her so T.I. is carrying the wounds from a previous lifetime of being a woman who lost her life because her hymen wasn't intact into this lifetime which is why he is guarding his daughters with care so I know that a lot of people are cons are saying well what about his son his son is 14 and this person is interacting in, in an intimate manner with other people but you know their society does not have the same rules and stigma attached for males who are you know active as opposed to females so handle with care he is when he takes her to the gynecologist and he says you know we're going to be here at nine o'clock he is pulling back the memory the painful memory of the previous lifetime of actually losing his life which is the time he was a woman because his hymen wasn't intact but he actually was telling she was telling the truth but her lover who was his daughter did not believe him his lover you know what i want to say in a previous life it was his male suitor but in this lifetime she's playing she incarnated as his daughter so he is trying to protect her and because he's carrying all this energy from the previous lifetime so um the next card i have is this again in the current lifetime so this is the present so this card is going to represent ti and this card says for ti that he needs to um, gather information with an open mind. I love my, my jungle bee got a stack, y'all. I don't care what nobody say, okay? He needs to gather information with an open mind. And this means that um, he needs to understand, you know, that everybody knows that um, these old antiquated beliefs about the hymen and 
uh, meaning that a person has not been in an intimate manner with another person, that we know that a person can ride bikes and horses, and it is not an indicator. And there's the stigma attached to a woman belonging to a family, and that they want him to, um, and, the, and this is in the in the uh, future, the present time, actually, that T.I. needs to gather information with an open mind and pretty much change some of his antiquated beliefs uh, about women and, um, you know, and intimacy. So the next card I have is, I'm maybe I'll turn it this way, it's for it represents his daughter. And it says, sometimes love means letting go. Oh my goodness. So basically, this car is saying that T.I., that she needs to, you know, and some let go of the past. Like, let, even though you love this person and, you know, and that's her dad, but the they need to let go of the, well, let me talk about Dejanae real quick. In a previous lifetime, Dejanae was David, who was a male suitor. She carries a lot of guilt. Oh, a lot of guilt for not standing up and for her um, lover in a previous lifetime, who was T.I. She didn't believe him. And this is why in this lifetime, she is going along with the appointments she's going along she's trying to um sort of speak pay her debt like but because she realizes like at a soul level that in you know but in this lifetime let me just say in this lifetime she needs to let go and stop feeling guilty about what happened in a previous lifetime because it was a different time period and she made a very hasty decision in terms of you know, in the past, not believing her fiance at the time, his fiance, when she said that she had been true. So in this lifetime, she's carrying a lot of guilt. She's carrying a lot of pain for making that decision. But she needs to let go of what happened so that she can have a healthy and loving relationship in this lifetime. So she has to let go of her past guilt. And the next card I have is the card that actually discusses um, what do they need to understand. And so what they need to understand, what T, you know, T.I. needs to understand, this is for T.I. It says, mind your own affairs. You see why I love my Jungle Beauty Goddess deck, y'all? Mind your own affairs. Uh, T.I., darling. In a previous lifetime, I'm just going to tell you, according to my deck, you were a woman who lost your life because your people, your hymen was not intact and people thought you had been untrue. But in fact, you were telling the truth and no one believed you. And your daughter in this lifetime was your suitor or your fiance in your previous lifetime. And you want to protect her in this lifetime so you're bringing along in this lifetime the pain of a woman who lost her life and now you're trying to you know the connecting car you're trying to handle with care you see you want to handle with care you want to take her to the doctor you want to make sure everything is okay and then also what I'm pulling up is that you also do not want people to treat her the way you have treat other women in this lifetime you don't it's like, so there are two levels. So, and you have the previous memory of being a woman that's, um, who, who lost her life because she was not believed. But then in this lifetime, you have the, you know, uh, added, the added emotional information of how, you know, men treat women, how men are unfaithful, the things that men say about women. So you're trying to protect her as a mother and as a father. But the deck is saying that you need to mind your own affairs and that it is time for you to let go of those antiquated beliefs and gather information with an open mind. And the last card I have that pulls everything together pretty much is that it says Katara, you know, we have Katara here, I'm sorry. Your relationship with money is rooted 
in your childhood. So basically, what I'm picking up from this deck is that you have created a lot of money. You have um, a, in a life as a rapper in the music industry, and you have seen how women are treated and what women would do for money and how women uh, what women would do to go about getting money so you is the past relationship with how women were treated and how you were a woman in a previous lifetime and you lost your life because of the same issue in this lifetime you've tried to create wealth so that your daughter never have to depend on a man or have a or be controlled by a man so that um, she would never have to in, um, incur or put up with or the things that you had to go through in a previous lifetime as a woman so that is my past life reading for rapper T.I. and his daughter Dejanae as to why he is so adamant about her her maintaining her virginity i really hope that you found this video useful please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video